We heard the word patience and the word flexibility so many times yesterday. And I think that, you know, coupled with Caterpillar and Apple and, you know, some of the Boeing, um, some of the positive earnings results that we heard coming out of the markets yesterday um, really buoyed stocks up. So we saw a short term relief rally around Powell's comments. So, you know, the two big factors in the macro environment have really been um, of many, but the two main factors have been China trade wars and and Powell. And you know, if if we think that the Fed will be flexible and patient along the way, it will help the stocks that that are beaten down recover a little bit, and it'll probably buoy some short term sentiment in the markets. We've seen earnings season so far be generally positive. The outlooks have been more mixed. So, what is it about this earnings season that sticks out to you right now, in terms of how you view that bull bear debate playing out in the coming months? Sure. So, you know, I, I saw that chart that you put up on gold in the last segment there about three months, 9% rally. We saw some of that in our ETFs yesterday off of earnings just in one day. So tech sector, semiconductors, biotech, you know, we haven't seen numbers like that in a while. And of course, these are short term products. So, you know, not necessarily promoting that long term. But what we do see is that, you know, companies have adjusted well to the weakening global environment. GDP is slowing and the outlooks for 2019 are slowing. But I think the message that we were sort of talking about last year is playing out. You know, 2018 was a great year. December was volatile, but some of the tailwinds of corporate taxes um, and, you know, financial prudence paid off for these companies. And we see the earnings numbers reflected right now. And I think going forward, we will expect a slowdown. But in the near term, you know, some of these industries and sectors that are playing out well um, in, in, in growth and in tech and semiconductors have been really positive for investors. So semiconductors and, and other parts of technology have been a key focal point. Facebook stock is up big today. It's been beaten up, yeah. no doubt, over the course of the past six to 12 months. But can we now say that there is a risk appetite returning for some of those FANG names or, or communications services stocks in general? I don't know if it's risk appetite or if it's more of everything has been so beaten down that there was an opportunity coming into earnings season. And we see that a lot. You know, it remains to be seen whether this rally and, and sort of buying momentum holds up in the long term. But in the shorter term, again, you know, Facebook and Apple were really two of the top beaten down names in the market. And now you really see investors taking advantage of that, you know, probably with a view in the short term that earnings would have played out. And what's also interesting now is that, you know, there are different ways to express these trades. So, you know, the OG Fang has sort of split up. So now, you know, Amazon is going to be in consumer discretionary. Facebook is in communications. You know, Apple remains in tech. So I think investors now also have, you know, different ETF products as well as single stock products where they can express these views now.